meters. Turn right. Turn left. See this building? Okay, turn right and go straight. You see a small boat here. Okay. Continue. In 500 meters. Your destination will be on the left. So this is the campsite. On the left. Yeah. So. Your destination is on the left. What up, welcome to Dear Camper Vlog, I'm Din. So today, I actually want to review this campsite for you. I think this campsite is easily one of the best in Malacca la, because I'm, I myself is from Malacca. So. Oh, first of all, this campsite is called uh, Bamban Cottage, okay? Alright, you <laughs> Okay, there's a lorry pass by us now. <laughs> okay, you can actually arrive here by Google Map, la, okay? Just drive your car, follow Google Map, and then you eventually reaching here. Okay, this is the main gate. So before you turn in from the main road, okay, you will see this building, okay, and then you just take the right turn, okay. There's a small road beside the, the building, okay. Just turn in and then just follow the road, um, just go straight, and then you will see this campsite. This door, okay. I yeah, came in the campsite. It's a very beautiful place, okay. There's two uh, a small pond uh, there. I heard from the CEOs that uh, after this, the the two main pond will be setting up for fishing activities now, okay so like, I like to fishing a lot especially when I saw a pond like this okay definitely best uh, best environment for snake head uh, okay? if you're actually fishing then you know what I'm saying okay oh, the best place for something like haruana or oh, ikan keli then this is really really nice pond if you are fishing too then you know what I'm saying actually it's a very very new campsite okay? there's a lot of upgrade still ongoing but I'm already like this place a lot. See, as you can see, there's still a little bit of upgrade is ongoing here. From the main door, okay, on the left is the Lotus Pond now, okay, where after this you can fishing here. Okay, there's two pond and there's one gazebo over there. So if you are bring your, so if you are bring your kids here, it is a very nice place for you to chill with your kids in the afternoon, okay, or the evening. Just bring along your your food or your fruits or just anything like just quachi or anything then just uh, chilling over here with your kids okay after coming out here you see that's my car okay <laughs> behind there is a very traditional very nice traditional house okay uh, I heard from the CEOs after this they will like uh, try to decorate a little bit and make the whole building look nicer okay so this whole area actually came side already. okay if your car cam Okay, you can actually uh, park your car here, right? Or somewhere there, it's fine. Okay, it's open for parking as well. Okay, down here is actually the campsite. Here. You can just uh, park your car here if you're doing a car cam or you just sit out here. It's, it's very nice, okay? As I said, the lane is very rutted, so no problem at all for you to set out a big tent, small tent, no problems. There are actually a three stage now, okay? One, two, and three, and call it campsite one, campsite two, campsite three. La. I think the whole area is big enough for up to 30 tents. At least, at least 25 tents. Okay, also, at least 25 tents, and also big tents. La. Because <laughs> the land is quite big in Rata, okay. Alright, this one is uh, the third one, la, campsite three. I think this one, because today is a <laughs> cloudy day, la. it's going to rain, so. Uh, you won't see too hot, but I think here the the the, the campsite tree I think will be a little bit hot lah because uh, the tree is not covered until here. See, <laughs> the toilet not too far from the campsite because the sides all over there and then just a uh, few step walking distance lah. Okay, there's four toilets. Uh, as I know, four of it uh, look the same lah. So this is how it looks like inside. Okay, newly painted uh, of course with a toilet bowl. And they have a shower cap here. Okay, and I heard from the CEOs, the water is actually pipe water, la. it's not from the underground water, so definitely uh, clean enough la, for shower and you know. all. So, this is the toilet part, and also the lights. Okay, I like I like their 
roof design uh, okay uh, some campsite they do it as well they use this uh, transparent material okay the, the plastic one so the sunlight can come in okay so even though day daytime don't have light also you can see lah. okay some campsite uh, I've been before they don't have this if uh, daytime they don't have light okay they don't have uh, the, the electric and then when you close the door it will be very dark inside so this one is very good and the light as well is uh, I think oh, you can see that right <laughs> it's uh, bright enough uh, for you to shower and do your business inside okay and very friendly also they have this hook uh, for you to hook your clothes and everything so behind here they plant some banana trees there's durian trees here as well and I heard from the CEOs their season is around end of July la. for those of you who come end of July then good for you la. <laughs> you might be able to try the durian here okay <laughs> Okay, pretty much that's all. Uh. Okay, they, actually the camps are not very big, uh, as you can see. The tire one, tire two, tire three, and then down there they have uh, lots. I think uh, tire one and tire two is best if you have a big tent lah, because the place is big enough and then they're with some shades lah, because there are big trees here, you see. Okay, and down there is tire three. Tire three is a little bit hot compared to the first one and second one because they don't have uh, three shades lah. okay as I said earlier and then down there is uh, tire 4 and 5 okay for me with best shades is 4 and 5 lah. I mean just beside the pond lah. best if you uh, come solo lah. if your tent not so big also I think uh, should be fine lah. because you see ah uh, right definitely under the shades lah, okay very chill lah. okay imagine if you are waking up in the morning and then from your inside your tent and you look out, wow, all the lotus flower, you know, the pond view, the chilling vibe, oh my god, so good, right? <laughs> okay, the all house look very, very nice, right? But uh, it's not open for outsider to, to like uh, hanging around in it. Uh. It's only for like if any emergency happen or like heavy rain or something, you need some way to hide from the rain, then you are welcome to go inside. But the vibe is very good. If you have any inquiries, you want to book the campsite, I've leave the contacts down below. You can uh, try to find COs, uh, Miss Alice. Yeah, I'll definitely come back again for camping very soon. I plan on July, somewhere end of July. Okay, that's it for today. Right, see you next time. Hope you enjoyed the video.